VS Code allows you to use the full power of TypeScript to type check your normal JavaScript programs. This can help you catch programming errors and also enable some useful quick fixes that are not normally available. To demonstrate this, here I have a normal unchecked JavaScript file here. And by default, VS Code will only complain if I make some sort of syntax error in it. So if I go and I misspell function, for example, it will complain and say, oh, we don't understand what this code is supposed to do anymore, but it doesn't catch things like misspelling of variable names. To enable more advanced type checking from TypeScript, I can do that in a few different ways. So the first is to enable on a per file basis. And all I have to do for that is go to the top of the file and add a comment that says at TS check. And VS Code will also provide IntelliSense for adding this as well. When I do this, you'll notice that a few errors are now showing up. The first error here, if we hover over it, is saying that the argument type of string is no longer assignable to number. And if we look at the definition of this add function, TypeScript is actually getting the type information from our js.comments here, and it's saying that, oh, we are passing in a string here, sure, um, and this should be a number instead. So it helped catch a programming error there. The second one is actually complaining that the variable here is misspelled. And if I put my cursor over this, you'll see that there is a, now a quick fix for that. And I can just say change spelling. And sure enough, now the error has been fixed and we're using the correct console log. So that's one way you can enable type checking. But you would have to add that comment to every file in your project. There's a few other ways that you can enable this for all files in your project. So let me get rid of this comment. The first is using a VS Code setting. So if I open up this and say implicit, and if I go to the JavaScript implicit project config check.js and enable this setting, now all files in my project that are not part of a JS config will have this uh, the type checking enabled. Let me reintroduce an error here, and sure enough, we are seeing that error reported again. The other way, as I noted, to enable the type checking is to actually use a JS config. So if I use the go to project configuration command here, and then use this to create a JS config, if I then set check JS to true in this JS config, then type checking will also be enabled for all files that are part of the JS config project. So a few different ways you can enable the advanced type checking depending on your project needs. If you're working with JavaScript, definitely give the check.js functionality a try. It can help you catch simple programming errors and make you a lot more productive overall.